Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. Keep in mind this message is for any Libra placement you want to check in on, including but not limited to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Maybe you want to check in to the astrological house that is in Libra in your natal chart, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. And you are welcome here as are the cross watchers. All right, with all that in mind, Let's go ahead and get into these messages. Now do keep in mind, Libras, if you do happen to see this message after the first week of August 2022, that's okay. It just means you were meant to hear this message at a later time. All right, spiritual team, what is the overall energy for my Libras for the next seven days? What is the overall energy for my Libras for the next seven days? Okay. Let's get into it. Oh, we have the pumpkin productivity. Hey, all right. Get it, Libras. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the cucumber emotion. Ooh, okay. Let's see. I like it. A good balance. Hmm. Productivity and emotion. This spells creativity for me. A lot of cancer energy here. I don't know if you can see that. The cancer symbol is there. Creativity. Mm, a lot of water energy. All right, let's get into the tarot and see what messages Spirit has for you. Spiritual team, what messages do you have for my Libras for the next seven days? What messages do you have for my Libras for the next seven days? Let's see. Okay. Ooh, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Magician reversed, Knight of Swords reversed, and at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Took a little turn there towards the middle, but that's okay. Let's get into the bottom of the deck really quick. So we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, the suspended one, or the hanged man. Um, the sun in reverse, and the lovers reversed. Very interesting. So we got Gemini energy here with the lovers, Leo with the sun, and Pisces with the hanged man, or the suspended one, I guess I should say. Hmm. Very interesting. Definitely feeling the need to kind of pause and reassess something here. Okay, it could be a connection or a relationship that isn't quite a good fit for you. It doesn't have to be love. Maybe it's a business partnership. Maybe it's a friendship. Okay, maybe it's just a team member at work that's not quite, you know, your work styles clash. Whatever it is. Okay. It's not a good fit. It's not uh, producing the results that you want, or it's just not making you happy, making you a little frustrated. Okay, what else? Taking a look at things from a different perspective. Hmm. This could also be trouble making a decision for some of you. Uh huh. Okay, some of you guys could have, be, uh, could have trouble moving away from something that doesn't make you happy. You guys haven't really taken the time to look at why it doesn't make you happy or what the motivation is or what the potential outcome could be to you moving away from this. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is telling me that this is somewhat keeping you tied down, dependent, um... Or for a lot of you, it's creative blockages. You don't really have the freedom that you want in order to create the way that you normally would. Okay. So for some of you, again, it feels like this could be a partnership that's preventing this, that's kind of blocking you in this way. For some of you, it could be, could be something that you are doing okay or something that you're trying to hold on to like a methodology or a perspective okay take what resonates but for a lot of you it feels like this could be a partnership of some kind that you need to rethink 
or um, it's something in particular that you're doing either on a daily basis, like in your routine somewhere, that is kind of uh, blocking your creative juices and your productivity. Okay, that's what I'm seeing there. Let's take a look at these cards up here. Hmm. Okay, so <laughs> this is an interesting one. Um, for a lot of you, what I'm getting, uh, it feels like you have had enough of someone's excuses. <laughs> someone's lies, okay? Um, especially with, with the magician card here. I'm definitely getting the feeling of someone who tries to manipulate you, maybe manipulate your emotions. Um, here's an example. It doesn't have to always be about love. It could be, but another example would be maybe like you have an employee that constantly has excuses as to why they're late or constantly has excuses as to why they don't show up to work at all or why they're constantly calling out. Okay. Now, obviously for some people, yes, there are genuine excuses or reasons as to why you know, they have to take time off, but it feels like this person in particular has really taken it overboard and they're really exacerbating like your kindness <laughs> they're taking your kindness for weakness and you've had about enough you're like listen here bitch <laughs> i've had about enough out of you um for a lot of you if this is love related or maybe friendship related um i do see you guys blocking them potentially no more i've heard enough i've had enough of your bs i have other things to do <laughs> other things to do okay now if this is like a work situation maybe this is the team member that we were talking about before so maybe you're sick of working with this person because they have excuses as to why they never finish their port uh, portion or part of the work on time or you know why you have to pick up the slack um again it just feels like you and this person are clashing for one reason or another and it feels like whatever is coming out of this person's mouth has really had you fed up and I feel like for a lot of you, you're calling them on their bullshit and you're saying no more. I'm done. If you're not going to come to me with full effort, 100% effort, don't come to me at all. I'm tired of it and this is why. I know you're lying. I know you're doing this and that. I see right through you. You have no more excuses. This is what it is. So be honest with me or just come correctly and do your job. Essentially, you're like, I'm trying to achieve this over here and I can't do that with someone who's pulling me down. Ooh, Libra. Yeah, cutting this person off could really be, you know, the thing that is holding you back from achieving this. It feels like for a lot of you, it's like once you're able to cut this energy off, you're able to put all of your focus and productivity into achieving whatever this legacy or goal, end goal is, whether that's family, career, finances, health, whatever it is, it feels like you're able to completely focus on this and protect this because I feel like this has been um, your biggest focus recently. All right, that is what I'm seeing with the tarot. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Oracle deck section of the reading. Now, do keep in mind that, oh, hey, there's one already flipped over. Let's get that right. Um, do keep in mind, Libras, that whatever messages come from this deck could be related, could be completely unrelated to what it is that we've been talking about. It's just additional messages you need to know for the next seven days. All right, let's get into it. Spiritual team, what additional messages do you have for my Libras for the next seven days? What additional messages do you have for my Libras for the next seven days? All right, we got two there. Let's take a look at this half. Spiritual team, what additional messages do you have for my Libras for the next seven days? Come here. What additional messages do you have for my Libras for the next seven days? What additional messages do you have for my Libras for the next seven days? All right, let's get it. All right, so you guys got the butterfly, a change for the better. Yeah, I hear that. Absolutely. Um, and I feel like it's it's coming from you guys telling this person I've had about I've had about enough. <laughs> um, the next one is the pale time to get out of a situation. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my goodness. We also have the tiger doing something risky and taking a chance. Ooh. All right. Maybe that's moving solo dolo. Moving forward. 
Ooh wee. Yeah, you've had enough of someone's BS. Ooh, Libras, leave me a comment and let me know what happened. All right, let's take a look at the bottom of each of these piles. We have the shark take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. And I feel like cutting this person off is you protecting that material wealth for a lot of you. That 10 of pentacles represents your legacy, whether that's financial or career wise. At the bottom of this half of the deck, we have the flowers, happiness. Yay. A little bit of happiness, a little bit of peace of mind after you finally cut out some of the BS would be nice. All right, Libras, that is what I'm seeing your free. <laughs> All right, Libras, that is what I'm seeing for you guys for the next seven days. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. If you want to see more content from me, I am on Instagram, TikTok, I have a blog. All the info on how to find me is down below in the description box, as is my website if you want to schedule a personal reading with me. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!